Hi Shoebox friends, this is Denise from D. Rogers. Welcome back to my channel. This week I will be unboxing space themed shoeboxes for you all week long. These are all dedicated to my dad. Uh, his name was Gordon Grantham. And my dad was really the reason I started packing shoeboxes back in 2010. That was the year my dad passed away. My dad's favorite song was Fly Me to the Moon. And that old classic by Frank Sinatra, if you've never heard it before, I won't sing it because my voice is terrible. But the first verse says, fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars, let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. So that was my thought when I was packing all of these boxes this past week. And actually, he's my inspiration so many times when I'm packing boxes all year long. Um, my dad was a great guy. I'm not going to get too emotional, but uh, he was a World War II veteran. And I've thought about him lately a lot with all the strife going on in Europe. Um, he was captured by the uh, Germans and actu actually was a prisoner of war and liberated by the Russians in World War II. And he was in the Battle of the Bulge. And his history is documented down at the Library of Congress. So I miss him terribly. He was a big influence on my life. But his passing inspired me to start wanting to give back to others. And um, Operation Christmas Child somehow fell in my lap and into my heart, and it has never left since. And here I am today. So if it's fallen on your heart, I hope that you will enjoy this unboxing and you just have to pack one and you'll keep packing more, I guarantee it. And if you only want to pack one, God bless you because it only takes one to fill a child's heart with a gospel opportunity. So let's take a look at what I packed for this little boy age two to four. I've used an Operation, Samar Operation Christmas Child Samaritan's First cardboard shoe box. And if you use these boxes, you do have to pack um, with space in mind. So you have to be very conscientious of how much space you have. Of course, we want to give them everything. Um, I always have to remind myself that we are packing a gospel opportunity. We're not providing them aid, um, but we are an opportunity to know Jesus, to open their heart and um, provide them with a gift that probably is the only gift they'll ever receive. So put your label on this end, not in the middle because that's where we tape it at the processing center. Let's take off this big old rubber band. This is called a 107 rubber band and I get these on Amazon and Walmart.com has them also. They just keep my box pretty tight and I only need one rubber band so I really like that. So when this little boy opens this box on the lid, I've decorated it with some Dollar Tree stickers and some packaging and it says, you are loved. You can see that. And then when he looks at the top of his box, that's what he'll see popping out at him. So right on top, he has this really cute squishable rocket with the little boy inside. And I actually found this at a store called World Market. I actually went to the store to look for some special dolls that Sonia from Sonia Shoeboxes had found. No luck on the dolls, but I did find this little rocket, so I was really excited about that. He also has another little lovey. You may wonder why I have a cat in a space-themed shoebox. This is a Thai beanie, and his or her name is um, Amber. This is a mint beanie. You'll see when I show you the story has a cat just like this in the story, and that's why I included it. He has a little hygiene bag right on top, and in his bag he has a comb, a blue comb. You get those on Amazon. A travel bar of soap, that's from Amazon. A lip balm, nail clippers, and nail files. And the soap savers are also from Amazon. 
He has a little pencil kit here that has rockets on it. That's from the Dollar Tree. And inside his pencil case, he has two erasers. He has some spaced themed pencils, a click pen, and some Ticonderoga large pencils, and a pencil grip on one of those big pencils. He has a pencil sharpener from Fiskars that has the planets on it. This is a dual hold sharpener. He has a hacky sack ball that I thought looked like a planet, sort of. And I think I got that from Kip Brothers. He has two robots, a blue and a yellow. These are bendable, so these are really fun. And I got these from RaymondGettys.com. Let's pull this out. In the back, he has this coloring book. It's a space coloring and activity book. Uh, really cute. This is from the Dollar Tree. I thought this was a really cute book. Nice big pictures to color. And then I put in a book that is blank pages. I got these from the Target Dollar Spot. I put a big sticker on the front. And this is for his stickers, which he has quite a few of. He has some jumbo crayons from Walmart. I took in some pretty good quality cars here. This is a little blippy airplane. And this is a Fisher Price car. And that's Fisher Price also. Little boys love cars, so I think that was a great option for him. Uh, he has two pairs of underwear in an organza bag, size four. He has a pair of scissors for school, a flashlight that I got from Walmart. Little boys, I think, love flashlights. And I also packed an extra set of batteries. Make sure if you pack batteries that they are sealed or taped on all ends. Okay, so this is what another toy I have for him. These are stacking astronauts. And I got these from the Target Dollar Spot Bullseye section quite a while ago on clearance. So these are great for eye-hand coordination. <laughs> As you can see, my eye-hand coordination is probably not the best on camera. But, you know, these are for stacking, and I put some directions in there for him on what to do with these. I'm afraid these are going to just tumble on me. But there's lots of creativity with that. Um, and great for a child in the two to four age range. Okay, I also packed some Play-Doh. This is a space coloring and activity book art and activity Play-Doh kit. I get, got this from Dollar General for 60 cents. And I put a little label on the back that shows a little boy eating it with a cross through it and a little boy playing with it. And I got this printable from simplyshoeboxes.com and then I added two more tubs of play-doh and these have little cookie cutters right on top of the play-doh lid he has some wrist bells get those from Amazon I tucked in a click pen that has a little astronaut on the little pull there well, I think I got this from Michaels if I remember correctly. He has a glue stick and inside here I've tucked in some puppets, finger puppets. These are those silly monster finger puppets. I'm sure you've seen these. Um, I think I got them Valentine clearance. It's either this year or last year. He has a pastel cross. I get these from Oriental Trading. And his tote bag, it's really cool. I got this from Michaels. It's a black and white tote bag. It's a drawstring pull tote bag. And you can see a cat right on the front, riding on the spaceship. And I have markers in here. This is a fabric 
tote that he can color. So what I did is I included three fabric markers for him. And then I wrote up instructions that say, the fabric markers are used to color the tote bag. And there is a visual, and then I put it in Spanish and French just by using Google Translate. Okay, so here is his story. I got this from the Dollar Tree. And if you look in the spaceship, there's that little kitty cat. This is called 321 Blast Off. It's a storybook and a growth chart. And in the story, it's all about this little cat taking off into space. And again, that's why I included the little Thai kitty cat as his stuffy. And then it's really cool because here is his growth chart and it comes in centimeters. And I think these are still at the Dollar Tree. Okay, I made him a little bag to put his stacking astronauts in. This is just a little space themed material. Put in two snaps, it's lined. So he has something to keep those little wooden figures in. He could also use it for a pencil case if you would rather. Okay, he has a toothbrush with a cap on it. He has a nice pair of pants that I got from Walmart. These are Granimals, size 5T, a little stretchy at the top. They're like really cool. They have like a, a gray and white stripe down the side. There we go. He has two pairs of socks. These are some space themed socks that I got from Target recently. And then he has another pair of blue, gray, and white socks, Fruit of the Loom. I think these are from Walmart. And then I love this shirt. I think I got this shirt maybe not two years ago, but a pretty long time ago. It has a rocket taking off. If you can see that. And it's that really soft material. It's a Cat and Jack brand. This is a size 6-7. It's a little bit big, but I think he can grow into this. And um, I got it on clearance. I think it was like $3.20. And this was great for this box. Okay, underneath the shirt, he has a half composition book. I put a little space sticker on it. And then underneath that, he has these color forms. These were out this year. I got a set of four for 50 cents from Target Bullseye. Uh, it's a space color form. So I'll just open it up for you. It has like a scene and then some color form stickers, reusable stickers to put on the scene. And we're almost near the end. It's a nice washcloth that I got from Walmart. Really soft material. I gave him the directions for those stacking astronauts so he can see different things he can do with them or try to do with them. <laughs> he has a letter and a picture from our family. And then on the bottom he has a really nice sticker book. I might have gotten this from Michael's. I don't know. Maybe you guys know, but it's a really nice full sticker book. Really cute, sweet, space-themed stickers. So that's his sticker book. And that's it. That's my two to four boy space-themed Fly Me to the Moon. Uh, I hope you like it. I hope you are enjoying watching these unboxings. Stay tuned because I'm going to do another space one very soon. And um, be sure to comment. I love reading your comments. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel and you enjoy watching these unboxings and everything related to Operation Christmas Child, be sure to subscribe. And I appreciate all of you coming back and watching um, I really love our YouTube family. 
So thanks again, God bless you, and I will see you in my next unboxing. Bye-bye.